Welcome back everyone to a let's play of Pokemon Crystal. From where we last left off, the lighthouse has been completely finished. Yay! And now we are back right into this hot dog with the ocean. Hopefully no strange things happen like floating cue balls drifting away like floats. So, uh, while we battle on top of my Lapras, which in case is a Crocona, yeah, we're gonna take out Tentacles, which I believe to be the most annoying Pokemon besides Rattata and Zubats to meet. Trust me, I do think Tentacles are a lot annoying because they're almost in every freaking generation. You find them all over the place. You find them even in your bedroom. You're going to sleep, and then your Tentacles all like, oh, by the way, I have your pillow. Okay, thanks, bruh. And you're like, what? Did a tentacle just steal my most comfortable pillow too? No. Uh, so yeah. Anyways, um, hopefully, if everything goes well, we might even go through the next town with no problems whatsoever. So uh, this will be the only time where I'm going to show a tentacle on scene because I really need to get going with um, going to the next town because there are a lot of trainers in the ocean to fight. So, and uh, hopefully I'll make them quick as possible. Um, so yeah, I'm still going to demonstrate the trainers. I'm still going to show pretty much everything. But I think this might be the point of the game where the curve, the difficulty curve starts to rise up a little bit because of the gym coming up next. Just to let you guys know, I do not have a um, uh, a type or a super effective type against this upcoming gym. As we are all very well know. I mean, for those guys, for those people who are 99.9% .9 of the population who are probably watching this, they know what gym's coming up next and they know exactly what I'm talking about. So that's very good that Miltank leveled up, but uh, unfortunately Miltank is nowhere going to be seen in this gym, trust me. So I think it might be very much worthwhile to level up everybody else, uh, excluding Swag and Miltank. If that still doesn't give you a hint enough for those people who do not know, uh, then uh, just, just keep watching. It's always good to watch. No, because that's the point of the video. And the point of the video is to study and analyze what the point of the video is. And when the title consists of Let's Play, people are very, very surprised that there's a commenter behind the scenes commenting, commenting a usually commented video series. Like, for real. If people still can't grasp that, then, uh, well, I can't say I have lost hope in humanity, because I already had, but, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's not the point. Ooh, one shot of Shelter. Aw, but he's so cute, I love his blur face. He's so cute! I love that Shelter. Suck all the life force out of the tug. It has all of its life force. Yeah! Drain, drain it! Ha <laughs> ha you sadistic flower. What? Maybe some floral love oysters. I never tried oysters before. Uh, I've told people... I kind of told people. People told me that... Uh, well, I mean, it's their opinion. What, did you just shake your moneymaker at me? Heck no, War Turtle. You need to get the heck out of here. Um, anyways, yeah, people have told me that oysters are not very... You, you have to have a established taste for them in the first place. That's what they told me. Uh-oh, I lost. Well, no da, sir. No da. You don't need me to tell you that. Of course, however, Crab is a completely... Crab is a completely different story. I love Crab. The water's warm here. I'm loose and limber. Uh, I don't want to be near you then. <laughs> Did they really put that text in game? I know it's not supposed to be taken that way, but you know that people on the internet, they'll take everything wrong. For instance, the white background! Look at it! It's a background! Oh my god! Ah. Um, yeah. They'll even take the, the word, no, they'll even take, uh, god, the, the letter... Screw it. I, I just, I don't want to get into that conversation. <laughs> 
Nobody wants to get into that conversation. Who does? People on the internet. Shut up, you! I'm talking to my other self. Oh, yeah, there's two people here. I'm not insane. Uh, oh, acid. That's not nice. I don't think it does too much. Yeah, acid's a oh, really weak move. I think it has a chance to reduce one of the defense stats, either defense or special de defense. It's been years since I played Pokemon, people. Really, especially the later generations. The, fr the earlier the generations, the more I know of that, about them because, you know, obviously, you know, they're recent. But the super old generations, of course, I play them much longer than the recent ones. But time takes its toll on you. You really don't remember. And I'm not, and I never was a Pokemon extremist, you know, pioneer before anyways. Whoa! Nice critical Sunflora. Um, but really. Anyways, uh, Sunflora should be able to take out this tentacle, no probs. Uh, I do hope I have an antidote, otherwise Sunflora is biting the dust. Or in this case, biting the waves. Or in this case, biting the- yikes, I got prune skin. Ooh. Okay. Um, this guy is kind of weird. Yes, antidote. However, I think I'm gonna give some flora a break, unless I want to level them up with just one more. Do I? I think I do, because of the upcoming gym. And one Pokemon we're gonna have to fight. Yep. Oh, hi Whirlpool. I certainly hope you're no not. Yep, I certainly hope you're not important at all. You look so elegant riding your Pokemon. Oh, it's a Lapras. It's a red Lapras, to be precise. With goggles, too. How about them apples? I could try my Crocodile is a Transformer. It's more than meets the eye. Hi, Psyduck. Sow wow. Um, I'm sorry I'm gonna have to suck the life force out of you, but some floor demands a sacrifice. He demands more units, but unfortunately he's run out of pylons. That, how, what, where did I, I don't even play that game. Oh, well, it's the reference, of course. It's instantly acceptable if you know the reference. I'm slightly afraid of Peck, but not that much. I mean, yeah, Peck is, like I said, a very nice move to have on a Pokemon like that. Um, but, you know, Goldeen doesn't benefit from Stab, and like I said, I don't remember if Stab is taking an effect in this generation. Um, probably someone's going to correct me on that if, you know, whatever. A again, it, it doesn't matter. I mean, if it, if Stab is in this game, then that means great. Some floor is even stronger. Um, that's what I, with the rest of my Pokemon. Because, like I also said before, you need to have, I mean... Sometimes I've seen Pokemon without moves that correlates to their, uh, type. But if you ever get the chance, you should take that chance. Because that extra attack power may be the difference. Um, you're poisoning water, right? Let's find out. Ow, I know from that move you you freaking had it, but are you just water and pretending to be poison, or are you actually... Okay, yeah, he's poison in water, because, yeah, poison's strong against grass. <sighs> One of the only things that poison really has it going for, I think it's immune to, like, grass and bug, and I think poison to itself. I think it's been years, people. Leave me alone. <laughs> I'm getting old for my age. Ow. Not again. No more poisons. Stop the madness! Oh, so close. So close, Sunflora, yet so far. What's the secret to your strength, Sunflora? Because you're worth it. Oh, I'm worth it. Oh, yeah. We're all worth it. The viewers of this video is worth it. Oh, yes they are. Oh, yes they are. Anyways, uh, I believe we still need to go left. There is a hard-to-find Pokemon, and what I mean by hard, it'll just take a while to find it. No, it wasn't the 18th Tentacool that I met, that's the hard Pokemon. It's uh, another Pokemon that I might be able to meet if I, you know, cruise around in the sea for a while, but I didn't get the chance to meet him. But anyways, this is Scion Wood City. I actually made it here in great time. There are tons of trainers in the ocean. Um, let me think. If I remember correctly, I think I get something here? If not, then I'll just show another path you can take through the ocean. If I even do get that item, I might show up the trainers, although that might be boring. 
So I'll decide when that time when that time comes. But anywho, it is time for the gym leader. But just like every other gym before, we're gonna have to take out the cronies. And uh, for those people who know about the game, um, we actually these the up uh, this gym and the upcoming gym are so close together in terms of completion that um. If I do so well in this gym, which I'm guessing, I, which it's going to take me time. I know it's going to take me time going to this gym. But if for some reason, if everybody like critical hits and nothing goes wrong whatsoever, then uh, we might even reach the next gym in no time. But I'm still probably going to cut off the video just to leave it off because I kind of don't want to do two gyms in one video. <gasps> Pardon me. Um... Let's see, Dawn Fan's probably the most defensive-oriented Pokemon I have. So, uh, yeah. Some floor you had your fun, but it's time to achieve for now. Especially since hitting on me, you can take adva full well advantage of, um, some floors s marginally small defense. Um, so there's two alternatives of that attack. There's jump kick, and then there's high jump kick. Those moves can miss, but the unique thing about those moves is that uh, if they do miss, they actually harm the Pokemon. And I think, uh, I obviously high jump kick does even more damage, but the, the, that damage scales off of something. I don't know what it is, but I've seen Pokemon get like almost a third or even half of their HP taken away just because of missing their high jump kicks, which I, I think it's scaled off an attack or sure if it's health. It doesn't, it doesn't sound like right saying health, but in any case, um, I know Hypnon Lee has elemental punches. What would be the best, uh, would it be Krokona? I think it would, be, I think it would be Krokona. Um, so the thing about these guys is that Hypnon Lee and Hypnon Chen, just like the previous evolutions, uh, not the previous evolutions, but like the previous generation, I meant to say. It does have an actual a, a pre-evolution now. It's called Tyro. Um, I think in the daycare in Gold and Silver, when the couple hands you that, oh right, Thunder Punch exists. Oh, and a critical hit. Oh come on, lay off, will you? Um, Tyrogue is a unique uh, baby evolution that could potentially evolve into either Hypnonchan, Hypnon Lee, or a Pokemon we have yet to see, Hypnon Top. What? Ugh. Anyways, um, in order to evolve it into a Hypnon Lee, its attack stat has to be higher than its defense stat, I think, when it reaches 20. I think. Um, for Hypnonchan, it has to be the opposite. Defense has to be higher than its attack. In order for Hitting on Top to come out, you'd have to have its attack stat and defense stat at exactly the same number when it gets to level 20. You can hold off, I mean, if your Pokemon is starting to evolve into the wrong one that, that you don't want, you can just push B and then, you know, use something like iron or a protein to change up its attack and then, you know, level up. That's how I usually did that. I always want a Hypno on top because, you know, it was the unique one. It was, it was the new one, even though I never used Hypno on top after that. Because I think in this generation, it doesn't really learn all that good moves. I don't think. Um... But in any case, uh, I think there's two trainers left in that gym. Oh yeah, I, I do need to teach strength to one of my peoples. And the best person that- Oh yeah, I'm completely forgetting about something else too. Um, there's actually a Pokemon that we can get that uh, you can't find anywhere else in the game. So let's go ahead and get that Pokemon. And we don't even know, need to go through a random battle or whatnot to do it too. We just need to talk to some dude. Um, this Pokemon actually becomes ang- incredibly useful in later generations. As of right now, I don't think there's enough moves to really compensate uh, it. Who's this guy? He's not the guy. Your Pokemon appear to be fine. Is something worrying you? The Lighthouse Pokemon is in trouble? I got it. This ought to do the trick. Tyrant received Seeker Potion. I swear that you could only get that after you beat the gym. Ooh, okay. Uh, well, never mind that, but we still have to beat the gym anyways. This is the guy I was talking about. Uh, I'm in shock. A guy about you or your age with piercing eyes and long hair came in. He swooned me. He scared me into giving him my prized Pokemon. I still have one left, but what if he comes back? You look strong. Could you look after my Pokemon for a while? 
Oh, thank you. Take good care of it, please. Tyrant received the Pokemon. Oh, what Pokemon is that exactly? This is a Poison Cure Berry. No, it's a Shuckle. Shuckleism! You have pretty poor HP, my brethren. But look of your defense. It's outrageous. Like, really. His defense is really through the roof. Um, I think you can put Toxic on Shuckle in this generation, and if so, that's actually really good, because then you can just have a stall war, and then you can just put rest on him, and then, yep, sleep all the damage. Toxic sleep. Toxic, toxic sleep. Toxic sleep. Toxic sleep. So, yeah, there you go. Actually, can he learn strength? I know Taurus can. Um, he has an item. What item do you have? I want to check this out real quick. I'm going to put strength on one of my Pokemon anyways. It's not... What do you want, Wade? I found all kinds of berries. If you want, I'll share some with you. And what do you mean by share? I mean just give you one. So it's a waste of time, Wade. Go away. Um, what item do you have? I really wish I would have checked this earlier. Give me your item. Took Burt Berry. Oh, well that was very anticlimactic. Um, well, you're going to be death fodder. Just in case I need it. But anyways, it's time to teach strength to Mill Tank because I really, if the opportunity rises, which I'm sure it will, and if I am in desperate need, I'll just visit the move deleter and get rid of strength or something else. I'm pretty sure I know what moves I want to put on Mill Tank anyways, so I'm pretty sure it's not going to affect it that much, but oh well. In any case, let's progress on through the gym, shall we? I made some great time with this. And I'm pretty much at the exact same time where I'm actually comfortable with leaving it off the video. Because, uh, yeah, I don't want my videos to be 30 minutes long, 40 minutes long, unless it's actually something special. Yeah. So, in any case, Machop is going to come out and going to act like, Yeah, I'm strong! Look at me! Yeah! Yeah, man! And I'm going to be like, oh, look at my croconaw. He's going to be like, oh, man! I'm screwed, man! How about them apples, man? Yeah, told me. I... I wonder... Yeah, my chop is going to get destroyed. But no, that's not what I'm wondering. I'm wondering if my ice punch is actually stronger than my surf. I wouldn't be surprised. I know that surf becomes stronger and stronger as the generations go on, which is actually kind of nice, because it actually makes the move even more useful. Even though HM moves should never, ever, ever be used for competitive means whatsoever. Unless you're using, what's that one move? Rock Climb? But that's only for that really annoying flinch. Even then, Stone Edge is better because of its pure power. Of course, it could be argued that Stone Edge has uh, 70 accuracy. Doesn't Rock Climb also have... I think it doesn't have 100% accuracy as well. In, in terms of accuracy, um, even if a move has 90%, it feels like it misses a whole lot more than 90. I, like, accuracy is really important in this game. When you have moves that are like 70 or like hypnosis, you you see it miss a lot. I mean, I mean, it's because you move, you use the move a lot, but I. It just to me, it seems that accuracy, when it comes to that, is really dramatic. Especially if you have like some of the super moves, like the super killing moves. Like, um, well, the leader up here is going to be using one of those super moves, which is not going to be good for my health. So long as I avoid it, we should be a okay. Um, I mean, it, it it's a it's a good balance. You know, a super high attacking move, but it has lower accuracy or it has some kind of drawback like Hyper Beam. It's a super powerful move, but your Pokemon is basically incapacitated for one whole turn. And unless you can afford to lose that entire turn, you probably want to not use Hyper Beam. I mean, if you are for sure you you need to knock out that Pokemon, or your or if that's the last Pokemon in their team, then go ahead and use Hyper Beam. But just make sure you 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 absolutely are gonna say, hmm. Let's see, is this gonna be well worth two turns? One for Hyper Beam and one for recharging. Or it's not just limited to Hyper Beam. It could also be for Giga Impact. Uh, 
Yes, yeah, so that's from Generation 4 Giga Impact, I think. Yeah, Giga Impact came from Generation 4. Because uh, when the move pool split between special and physical, uh, Hyper Beam was made, uh, was made into the special category. And uh, it wouldn't have been wise to have the super move be just special. They should have made, which, you know, they did right. They al should also have made the physical counterpart of Hyper Beam, which they successfully did. Which is, you know, Giga Impact. There's absolutely no difference between Hyper Beam and Giga, Giga Impact, except for uh, it being special and Giga Impact being physical. Um, so yeah, that's good and all. So hopefully I'll be able to finish this Primate off, because I'm not sure if it has any of the uh, elemental punches. I don't think it is. It hasn't used in any. But uh, this should be nice and easy to take out. And uh, I'm going to pause the recording, go heal my people, and uh, I'll see you at the gym leader. So, yeah. Ooh, wow. He almost leveled up. Hmm, it's going to be very exciting when he levels up. Anyways, see you guys in a second. Hey, guys. It is time for the gym leader, Chuck. <laughs> so you've come this far. Let me tell you, I'm tough. My Pokemon will crush stones and shatter bones. Watch this. This is my favorite pillow, but screw it! Yeah, they're scared now, are you? What? It has nothing to do with Pokemon? That's true! Come on, we shall do battle! But I didn't even say anything! We all know that protagonists are mutes. Ah, Tanky 10 versus Chuck. Yes, he only has two Pokemon, but in order to make that up, his key Pokemon is very annoying to take out. And plus that his Pokemon are uh, up to par of my level as well. So this should be kind of threatening, but uh, since Primate missed that Leer, that's basically a free turn for me to use up Surf. So let's see, two more turns of Surf? I can deal with that. Theory swipes? Really? You're going to waste five seconds of my life waiting for the animation to disappear? You did take out 20 of my HP, but that's not going to be enough, Mr. Primate. Alright, one more move. Now, his key Pokemon is going to be incredibly annoying because of the key move he has. Basically, just like I was talking about before, it's one of those super powerful moves that has abysmal accuracy. And he's going to use it. And I'm pretty sure he's going to probably not miss with it, too. Polyrath. And I think in this generation, Polyrath has been turned into a subtype of water and fighting. So Croconaut has nothing to use against him except Scratch. Donphan is not going to be so useful because I know that Polyrath has Surf. Some Flora is probably going to be my safest bet, but some Flora has really small defense. So I really hope that Dynamic Punch does not land. And if it does land, pray it's not a critical. Mind Reader. What Mind Reader does is that the next attack is unavoidable. So either I switch out or I take the opportunity to hit it again. And I'm going to take the risk. Oh, he uses Hypnosis. Ah, that's annoying. Um, he's probably going to either do Dynamic Punch or Mind Reader again. So I'm going to use this time to heal up. If he uses Dynamic Punch, I really hope this misses. I really, really do hope this misses. Basically, I just get a free turn. Nope, it doesn't miss. Just my luck. It punched me right in the face, and just how much damage it does, quite a lot. And it confuses your Pokemon if it hits. So yeah, it takes a lot out of your Pokemon. Um, so let's switch it to Crocona because I know uh, Crocona is strong against Surf and can take a Dynamic. Oh wait! Oh god, no! Ah! Don't die! Don't die! Don't! Oh! Oh, so close. One thing I do know about Dynamic Punch: it only has five PP. So that means can I switch it to Growlithe for a free Death Potter, or maybe he can miss and then I can get a free heal on one of my guys. Grow, Growlithe, serve your master correctly. He has hit with Dynamic Punch three times in a row. That's not fair. I wish I could do that. Uh, 
switch into some flora. I'm gonna use super potion on it. Um, even though that's not gonna heal at all. Wait, 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 wait. I could use that, but that is kind of something I want to keep. J just for, uh, bragging rights. Bragging rights of doing nothing. Where is my super potion? There we go. I was looking for that black thing. Oh, that's where I left that thing. Uh, please miss, or at least do something else. Oh my god, he has not missed! You cheater! And I don't think he's supposed to get dynamic punch. Or, no, it's Mind Reader he's not supposed to get into much later. God darn it, man. Well, that means he only has one dynamic punch left, and yeah, the, I think the only other move he has is hypnosis. He's hit all five of his dynamic punches! What is wrong with this? Tyrant, it's the computer. It cheats. Ugh. This whole generation cheats. Oh, but what? What's that? You ran out of dynamic punches? Oh, I feel like I could cry. <laughs> nah, not really. Alright, Polyrath, you're now completely useless against my Sunflora. I just really hope that the hypnosis does not kick in. And I hope that the confusion... Oh yeah, I... I cannot beat the diamond dynamic punch, but I can certainly beat the hypnosis and confusion. Anyways, people, I hope each and every one of you have a fantastic day. This is Tiny 10 and a let's play of Pokemon Crystal. Question of the view will be in the description. How about that? You were the Storm Badge. And yes, Croconaut is evolving. Congratulations, your crocodile has evolved into Horaligator! Oh, thank god, it's so useful having Horaligator now. Giant receives Storm Badge. Uh, wouldn't it be more proper to name it like Fist Badge or whatever? Makes all Pokemon up to level 70. Obey, even trade it once. It also lets you Pokemon use Fly whenever you're not in battle. Here, take this too. Giant received TMO 1, that is Dynamic Punch. Don't think I'll be using it because I know if I would use it, I would miss. Like, seriously. Anyways, I'll see you next time. Peace.